Hi, welcome back. This is chord changes number one. So what we're doing is um, you, you should be familiar with these two chords. There's an E and an A. And hopefully you've been doing the lift off exercise to prepare you for the chord change exercise. So your fingers should be pretty limber now and ready to go for this. So um, now this, this exercise is kind of preparing you for a song. Really all it is is we're taking the chords and moving them, um, well strumming them a certain amount of times and then moving them at a specific speed. So I'm going to pick what's a comfortable speed for me. Again, you want to apply the strumming fundamentals lesson as well and be able to strum while tapping your foot, things like that. And the goal is to be able to make the first move with doing all of these different elements. Strumming down, and then bam, we get to the new chord. So here's how it works. We have a chart, and if you download your PDF and check it out, is that you'll notice that there is two bars of an E chord, and then there's two bars of an A chord. And uh, those stacks of notes are quarter notes. So really, what a quarter note is, is just telling you to strum once on the beat. And there's more about this in the basic musicianship uh, section if you need to check it out. But what really we're doing is that we're just strumming down on the E. Four times for the first measure, four times for the second measure. Then we have our chord move. So we're going to switch to an A. So we only have really that one beat to be able to get from E to A. So it sounds like this. Two, three, four, and... So that is how you're going to do this. The idea is to not do this, where you're going... Oh wait, um, okay. You want to get rid of that gap. So the whole goal is to pick a tempo, something that isn't too fast, isn't too slow, and to be able to really try to keep all these elements going and thinking about the strumming hand and you know the foot and that that actually feels like something and that okay it's coming up it's on this beat and can this hand do its thing well this hand keeps doing its thing that's the goal of this exercise and you can apply this to any other chords you want you can do this on an A and a D all you do is take your chart print it out once and scribble it out and change the chords if you need to just remember the feel if you know I mean yeah you don't necessarily have to print it out but this is a great skill, and this is the beginning of being able to play any song, is that we just need to be able to move from chord to chord without changing the beat. So that's chord changes number one. This will prepare you for strum song number one and for all sorts of other stuff. So take it easy, work hard, and I'll see you soon.